So most of you guys would have seen the video where I created my own private cloud. And after I built that video, by the way, if you haven't seen it, links up there in the YouTube cards. Um, after I did that video, the cloud worked fine because all I needed to do was sync my photos and videos from my phone to the cloud. But after a while, the, the file stopped syncing correctly and then eventually it, it, it was only syncing files that were saved directly to my uh, phone instead of my SD card. And then a couple of weeks ago, the guys over at FileCloud reached out and said, Hey, Prashant, why don't you have a look at our piece of software? So that's what we're going to be doing today. So FileCloud is a very different piece of software compared to something like, say, OwnCloud. FileCloud has a more Dropbox style kind of functionality where it allows you to share files within your organization as well as allow external downloads. So let's jump over to their website and have a look what they have to offer. So let's head over to getfilecloud.com. So FileCloud is a piece of software by Code Lathe and they're the number one enterprise file sharing, syncing, backup, and remote access piece of software. So FileCloud has two versions, a FileCloud server, as well as FileCloud online. So FileCloud server, you host it, your hardware, everything. And FileCloud online is where you are hosted on their hardware and you just pay them their piece, their whatever for the, the month. So I'm going to download my version. Uh, I already signed up. So it's portal.getfilecloud. Let's head over there. And I'm going to log in, sign in. So my trial is already in progress, but I'm going to go to downloads and I'm going to download FileCloud server. So FileCloud server can be hosted on many different environments. So obviously first is Windows 64 bit. And then we have Amazon Web Services, Azure, as well as Docker. So besides the main stuff, FileCloud is based on Ubuntu operating system, right? So I downloaded mine for uh, Linux applications virtual machine. So as you guys know, my server, you've seen me build it, you've seen the pieces of software I have on it from my um, Plex media server to my private cloud and all the other pieces in between. So that's why I'm downloading the OVF, which is for VMware or a virtual environment like what's run on my server. So we downloaded that and now let's head to installing. Okay, so let me log in here. And let's go and register a VM. So as you guys can see, DMP photo, DMP video, here's our own cloud which is, as you can see, switched off. And we only have our server 2012 running. So I'm going to go click deploy from OVF. Uh, we're going to call it file cloud VM. And then we drag our OVF here. Click next. Finish. So as you can see, it's uploading the file and then it's going to deploy the VM. So while we're waiting for that, let's talk a bit more about FileCloud. FileCloud has a lot of features. So the first of which is file sync. So you can sync 
like how we do with our files uh, with our server 2012 you can sync your files and and have it on multiple computers and make sure everyone has the same copy and and things like that the second thing is a file cloud drive so you can mount it just like how I have all our drives mounted same thing you you can map your drive and have it mounted in your operating system the third is it has mobile apps uh, spread across Android and iOS and you can do whatever you want with so you can access your files and and all those things in between so earlier on I mentioned that it's an enterprise grade solution so their main customer basis is enterprise customers so big companies and and businesses and stuff like that so their enterprise stuff firstly uh, file cloud integrates with NTFS and Active Directory so those of you who won't know Active Directory basically is is a register Active Directory it's a directory of all the active users and it helps manage things so like if you have 60 or 70 employees you don't have to go and create 60 or 70 accounts every time you do something then you have something like Active Directory and you just link it to all your different pieces of software and it does everything else for you the next thing is it integrates with Office and Outlook making it convenient for you to send files receive files share files and even work with files online and then have it sent like that uh, there's a lot of powerful administrative tools like reports, what type of files are stored, um, a demographic uh, chart of where users are accessing your cloud farm, and many other reporting tools like that. And the third thing is customizability. But the customizability is locked until you have or well obviously you'd have a paid version either the standard or the commercial but once you have that then it unlocks full customizability of your login and everything like that so unfortunately I have a basic um, trial key and I can't unlock the customizability of it just yet so as you can see how fast that installation was and I mean that's it you drop deploy and it's over now let's take a look at actually using file cloud all right so let's go to 10.0.0.107 and then let's create a new account so my e my email address username Prashan and a password one two three four five Alright, agree, create. Alright, so now I click login. So here we have our cloud. So all these little bits and pieces are stuff that we could have customized if we had a paying license and okay so the other day we were messing around and I uploaded the South African load shedding schedule to this and <clears throat> I just shared it with some people and they were allowed to download it and I could even set like a download limit to files uh, you know like if you share it with two people only those two people or only two downloads can take place off your file and you can even set up authentications and stuff like that so at the moment I have no files in my uh, server but let's find something that I can upload here so there's the load shedding schedule for Durban and then I can go share the file it generates a link and then I can go share options maximum downloads restricted to one send the email notification when you download or someone downloads your files similar to a Google Drive kind of thing and this is 
quite convenient and easy and it's a very nice thing to have to play around with the customizability of your software and all those other parts so that brings us almost to the end of the video guys and as you know with TechScene Zeddy we never there's no gray areas with us so although we tried this this piece of software file cloud there were some drawbacks that we've seen right and one of the drawbacks is that it's an enterprise grade solution so it's not based or it's not convenient for me to use uh, in a sense if you understand what I mean it this is built for like bigger organizations people that have two three hundred employees and it's more better for them for me one person using this is it 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 doesn't make sense and that kind of ties in to the cost of the software so if I didn't mention it before uh, it is a paid piece of software so file cloud server which is our self-hosted option costs about four dollars and twenty cents four US dollars and twenty cents per user per month and it's billed yearly you can bill it yearly at 50 US dollars per user per month but you need to have a minimum of 20 users I mean I'm one person and then file cloud online is ten dollars per user per month or and there you need a minimum of five users so for me it kind of doesn't make sense to use it um, but file cloud is a very extensive piece of software but I mean it covers a lot of the functionality that a lot of other solutions have like Gmail Dropbox it's basically everything tied into one but there is some very basic and simplistic functionality that's not here yet and I hope that uh, code laid fixes these things like the other day when we were here registering a user right if you saw when I registered I clicked directly to login but in a sense it's supposed to as soon as you register take you to the login screen because what happened the other day was we registered one user and we thought it didn't work so we registered we ended up registering like five users thinking that we didn't register that one user and there's bits and pieces here and there that I hope code laid can fix um, and the other thing that I found was although it has these extensive pieces like as I mentioned the mounting how you can mount your drives and sync your files and stuff those are individual pieces that you need to attach to your software so it's add-ons to your cloud software yeah but all in all it's a very good piece of software for an enterprise grade solution it is expensive but I mean if you want things to work properly you would pay to have this functionality and I mean what more can I say you've you guys have seen it I hope you guys have enjoyed this video it's our first video back it was it has been kind of hard getting back into the flow of things but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you hit a like rating if you did enjoy this video and let me know with a comment down below so I will see you in the next video guys thank you very much for watching